What if there are no mistakes? There's just life. You are here to live your life and you do the best you can and you can learn and continue making decisions, different mm -hmm. decisions. If you feel like you have to change or to turn whatever it is, then is when you really stop criticizing yourself at the same time that you build a sense of acceptance and appreciation. You mm -hmm. cannot love something that you don't know then it's important to go inside of yourself. But a lot of people doesn't want to do it because they, they feel they are going to find something that is not nice. Mm -hmm. I'm not a good person or I don't have what it takes or I'm not good enough. And if you see inside of yourself, you're going to find the most beautiful thing that is your essence. And you're perfect in essence. And whatever you are doing as a human being, it's an experience. It's a play that me as Judith, I'm, I'm, I'm experiencing in this incarnation, but that's it. Yeah. You are a beautiful, amazing, unique. And if someone today doesn't tell you, then tell it to yourself. You are special. And without you, the world would be different. You are so important. So important is your existence that without you, with your impact, without your presence the universe will not work at the same level and we need you but the real you the one that you are maybe not showing us mm -hmm. i think with us uh find our authentic nature could be the best thing we could do as a service for others you know sure. to contribute in a way that we were meant to be right we're here for a reason maybe we don't know that reason yet but we should know that there is there are no mistakes right in this universe so if you exist if you are here if you're present you have a lot to contribute to every one of us including yourself so why don't you just be yourself like why are you trying to kind of like pretend to be somebody else and not giving yourself the gift of the present moment of the experience and everything that life is giving you right so if we just shift that perspective and find that um self uh love and acceptance and you know really seeing our self-worth as if we are very important here then i think we could really start living our life differently and see the and experience different quality of life yeah no that's for sure and and i'm gonna tell you why <laughs> <laughs> the reason why this happens is because we are born with the desire to be accepted to be seen to be loved to belong and since we are very small we start looking for love. When we are born, uh, if you look at a baby, it has an unconditional love for herself or himself. Like I am the center of the universe, you take care of me and I'm here to be happy. And unless they have a problem, like uh, they need to be changed or they are hungry or they are sleepy, usually mm -hmm. they are happy beings. Kids at young age are, but then we socialize them and and, and it's not only the culture or the indoctrination or the or the or the culture where you live it's that we have uh, storage you no know, this unconscious part of of uh, our mind where there are a lot of patterns and mm -hmm. from 0 to 7 everything that we receive we cannot filter this information it becomes the truth it becomes part of our programming and uh, for those that believe in that, I am a past life uh, therapist, then we also carry memories from our ancestors, we have our genetic influences, we have a lot of things that we are not aware, we consciously don't uh, understand that we are not just what we think, there are a lot of information, a lot of unconscious patterns of thought and behavior that get activated. And what happens is that we start believing at a certain point that in order to be loved, we have to change. Mm -hmm. We have to please others. We have to be the way others want us to be. And we stop being ourselves in order 
to receive the love that we want. And we forget that we are the source of this love, that we are the creators of the love. Mm -hmm. But because we are the source, when we have a law that we can share it with others. But if you forget that you have this source, mm -hmm. then you go around asking everybody, can you please love me? Can you love me more? Mm -hmm. And we become these, these beggars for love and we do whatever is necessary to receive this love, even to stop being who we are authentically. Because we receive messages that if, oh, if you continue doing this, I'm not going to love you. Or if you don't stop uh, asking for this, I'm not going to love you. Yeah. And there is a moment where this becomes unconscious. We forgot these messages that happened maybe when we were six or nine or 12 year old 